and welcome to Wildcats World. And today I have my wonderful hamster. Yes. She's going to be running on her wheel the whole time, probably. Hey everyone, so today we're going to be reacting to Slip Slime Sam. How to build cool hamster homes for hamsters. How to build cool homes for hamsters, spiders, and turtles. Um, I watched some of his other videos. They do not show very good care. So I am excited to watch this one with you guys. Right here, I have taken her off her wheel because well, I haven't. She blocked off, but only after she was running on her wheel and pooping on it, might I add the same time and the poop is flying everywhere so i'm kind of happy she's off the wheel now yeah okay and i also have a towel here so she won't poop on me or pee on me for that matter you growing yes okay Okay, first off, this is very marketed towards little kids, and if they show incorrect care on here, um, kids or little little toddlers and stuff are going to watch this, and they're going to be like, oh, now I want a hamster, and they're not going to have correct care for this, because they don't show correct care for that, so, yeah. Hey guys, do you want to see some animals that lived in the dinosaur era? So I don't know anything about turtles. I'm just gonna skip past that one. I also don't know anything about spiders. Let's just skip past all that. Um, here we go. Ah, ads. Ew. Sorry, camera just dropped. Okay, that box right there is the Critterville Arcade. That is not a good cage for hamsters. It looks fun, but it is, I assure you, it is not. Hamsters need at least 450 square inches of floor space, and that is simply not providing it. I will actually go look up how many square inches it has right now. Okay, wow. This is 18.1 by 11.4. The height is 21.5. Height does not matter at all in a hamster. Well, I mean, of course, they need to have enough room to walk. But height, it doesn't have to be super tall. All these cages and stuff, they're focusing so much on towards the height than they really should. What they really need to do is focus more on the, um, the width and the length. So that is around 200 square inches around there that is not 400 square inches hamsters should have at least 400 square inches of floor space and that is simply not providing so yeah that is not a very good cage okay so once again this is their thumbnail i don't know if you actually saw the thumbnail before but it's got a tarantula, a turtle, and a hamster on it. It's a Syrian hamster, actually. They have dwarfs in their video. And I'm sure they're going to use a lot of toys and stuff that are dwarf-sized. But you can't put a Syrian on your thumbnail and only use dwarf-sized things. And otherwise, don't put a Syrian hamster on your thumbnail. It's, a, it's as simple as that. So, yeah. Let's keep watching. 
So, I, I mean, it's not that big of a deal. I know they probably aren't just letting the hamsters run loose because they want to be able to find them later. But basically what they're saying to do is just let hamsters free roam all around your house and don't watch them. If you let your hamster free roam, you need to make sure you watch them or that you have all your doors closed or that it's like you have no holes in the wall, like, you can take these little things, like, you can have a little hamster playpen, that's fine, but you do not want to have a hamster, um, but you do not want to let your hamster free run without watching it or having it in some sort of playpen, so, yeah. There's so many ads. Now to have a place to play in. Uh, what do we start with? Right, let's see. There are so many things in here. Uh, we'll start with a cage and the vertical piece. The cage is here. Uh, where's the vertical piece? Um, I think it's in the box. Right. Oh, so I'm going to skip forward because it looks uh, like it's just them um, assembling yeah. it. That's some speed, Sam. Oh, I'll no. You. Oh no. Like this. That, those tubes are way too small for Syrians. Of course, dwarves can fit through that, but Syrians are the most commonly bought hamsters from pet stores. So, those right there, those are not good for Syrians. And I would be fine because, once again, they have dwarves. But they have a Syrian on their thumbnail. Don't have a Syrian on your thumbnail if you're going to use stuff that is not appropriately sized for them. And Syrians have actually gotten stuck in tubes like these. And they have sadly died because they have gotten stuck in there for too long. These are not good for Syrians. And insert the next part into this ring like this. Oh, One tubes can be a pain to put here. together sometimes. Let's Now we'll connect the top part to the base. Carefully. Perfect. Wow, so this thing is awesome! <laughs> oh, okay, they're setting up the arcade, yep. okay. Uh, right, where do these go? What? People think that the arcade on this thing gives the answer so much space. They do not need vertical space. They do not need height. They need length and width. They do not need a tall cage. They need a wide and a long cage. And this extra little thing, your hamster can move that much in it. It is super thin. They can move, like, not at all. Ugh. Let's see. We attach this piece to the back wall. And this one, got it. Let's attach this piece here. And our wheel is attached to it. And the finishing piece. That wheel is too small. I mean... A little Roski could go on it. I am probably also a Campbell's Russian Dwarf, but it might be a little big. I mean, a little small for a Winter White Dwarf. Syrians! No, I know I keep coming back to Syrians being like, oh, it's not good for Syrians. Oh, it's not good for Syrians. But it's, don't have a Syrian on your thumbnail. If you're saying because they have dwarfs inside their video, I understand they have dwarfs in their video, but they have a Syrian on their thumbnail. Ugh. Can we let our hamster in? No, Sam, not yet. We have lots to do. But first, let's attach this little house. I need to aim well to insert it into the opening. Great. Susie, how are they going to get up there? It's too high for them. <laughs> well, to make sure our hamsters can move freely in here, we'll attach these little shelves. And these cute ladders will help them move between the shelves. Oh my gosh, do you, let me try to see if I can get, I can see it, let me go back. 
Oh, that was kind of a weird design right there on the cage. Yes, it is. Never mind. Okay, I'll just don't go back here. Okay. Okay, do you see right there at the bottom of the cage? There is a ramp right there. How is the answer to get out and walk up the ramp if, like, it's, it's not, what? The answer can't get out and walk up the ramp because it's, like, oh, I just realized there's, like, some space between there. But then the other ones are just, like, completely connected. Huh. That part just kind of annoyed me. Let's see what's inside. You can clearly see that it's a water bottle. I mean, like, but I guess it's kind of like a kid show thing where it's like, oh, let's see what's inside. As if you can't already tell, you can see what's inside because it's a see-through bag. So, yeah. Okay. Oh, that log. That log right there is too small for Syrians. I know I keep saying too small for Syrians. It might be even be too small for dwarfs. For a winter white dwarf, possibly a Campbell's dwarf, a Roboroski could easily fit through that, but I've seen a log or a log like it at many stores. And it is not, it's, the opening is like so tiny. It, the hamster would have a very rough time fitting through it. They would not want to go through it unless it's like the smallest species of hamster. The win, No, not the winter right dwarf. The um, Roboroski. In that bedding. They filled this much. That much bedding. If you're, hamsters need bedding so they can burrow. That's the whole point of bedding. Or if you're not going to give them enough bedding to be able to, like, even cover themselves with it, just don't even put bedding in there at all. It's as simple as that. The last pieces to make sure it doesn't fall apart. <laughs> Sam, it's ready. Me too. I can't find my hamster. They're here. Oh, okay. I guess... I guess I kind of already knew this because they had three different hamsters walking around at the beginning. But I would hope that they would put them all in different cages. I do not. I guess some people can think that you can put them together. I do not personally believe you should put dwarf hamsters together. That is my personal opinion though. I guess people can debate that. But I'm most people who have actually studied and researched hamsters do not put dwarf hamsters together because they can fight. Just because in the wild they are in colonies, doesn't in captivity, they don't do that well in groups. Especially trios of them. So, as you saw, that hamster went up the tube and she didn't even go all the way up. I think it is because, um... I think she went up and, like, the tube is so twisty. No one wants to put their spine in their back like that. It's going to be very uncomfortable. And up there, they have such a teeny tiny amount of room to, to walk in. So, obviously, they're not going to want to. I wonder if in this whole video they ever even go up.
Okay, that's an ad right there. But you know what? Tammy, Snowy, and Ashy do not really like their new home. No, they don't. They are claustrophobic and they're getting stressed because they're being with other hamsters. <sighs> and I don't think that they ever went up to the hamster arcade part. Because, again, those tubes are too, like, uncomfortable and it's such a tiny amount of space for them to be able to walk in. They won't want to. Of course they won't. <sighs> I've gotten so many ads today. Okay, okay, so that was the end of the video, but I just realized something. I wonder if it's over here. It was like setting up a hamster home. Okay, okay, okay. I do not believe they have it over here. But look, right there. Oh my gosh, this is the exact same video, setting up the Hamster Critterville Arcade, and once again, they have a Syrian hamster on their thumbnail! Ugh. So, yeah. Oh my god, Tyler just dropped it. Okay, there you go. <laughs> so, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. I, I don't know if you noticed, but I did put my hamster back. Because she peed and she wanted to go back. Because she didn't have very much, many places she could go. And I didn't actually bring out that many toys, which is kind of unfortunate. I wish I would have. But, yeah, so, yeah. And that was Slick Slime Sam's setting up the hamster arcade. Wow. Wow. That's that's all I have to say. Thank you for watching, though. Now we're checking out from Wildcats World.